Hey y'all, this is A.L. Thick Madal and Cinnamon Sugar. Y'all excuse me, I know I look a mess, but anyway, let me tell y'all about what's been going on. This is going to be a what a week post, and I think that I missed a week of telling y'all about what happened. The main thing that popped off, because it happened at the end of the week. And when it all first popped off, my last day at work, I was so pissed off. Y'all. But anyway, let me tell y'all about that briefly, and then I'm going to get into this week. So... Y'all know that I had I had to finish out my last week of work on the prior shift because I was going back to the shift that I'm working on now. So, I was doing Sunday through Wednesday. And now I'm back on Wednesdays through Saturdays, right? So, I was on my Sunday through Wednesday shift. Finishing that work week out. So this on this day, this was Tuesday. So now all I got is the half day left. So I came back from my break. My last break, mind you. Meaning we got an hour and a half left of work because of the time I went to break. Hour, hour and a half left of work. And I come back. And I ask the breaker what was going on because I'm looking at her. And I'm like, what in the world going on? Because it was just, it was a mess the whole day. But it wasn't something that affected me. Because I had done my job, I did what I was supposed to do. Well, I went to her, she told me what the situation was, and I immediately was just like, thank you, Lord. Because the person that was the acting supervisor, lead, or whatever, he decided to roll up on her and ask what the problem was and all this other stuff, which there was no problem. In all honesty, the real situation that's going on is that a lot of stuff has not been fixed by maintenance. We have a dry erase board. And we put everything up there. They ain't been doing what they supposed to do, whatever. So anyway, I'm feeling like I told y'all, but not really. But just in case this is, you know, something that I've already said, I am sorry. I just don't remember if I told y'all or not. Because I said it to my daddy through these messages that I sent because I was so pissed off. Y'all understand how angry I was in the moment by the time my half day got there, which was my last day of the work week. So anyway, she told me what was going on and I was just like, but that's not our fault. So then by the time we came back for the meeting before we start our day on our six hour day, almost everybody in the left. And so I turned to the lead, which the normal lead was there that day. And the supervisor was there at the meeting too. So I turned to them and I asked them, so are we supposed to run the show the way that we ran it yesterday? Because it was trash. Like, they were like, what do you mean? So we told them what the situation was. Because I, I don't care. Everybody don't, People don't understand that I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to tell you like it is. Now, I've not always been this vocal. But there are things I always have had on my mind my entire life. But there are times I'm always worried about, oh, well, what, do they, what will they think of me? Like, no. The, the, the great thing about it is, is that people have been very receptive. Like, people who actually have common sense. They've been very receptive and they understand. So it's never like really gone sideways when I've had to tell somebody about a situation. So the gist of this situation was, I just wanted to know, like, do y'all want us to run this show like trash, like we had to do yesterday and be blamed for everything that's not our fault when everything that's going wrong is because of maintenance, not doing what they need to do? Or are we going to run it right today? Just let me know before I walk in here. And so they're looking at us like, what you mean? We told them what had went down. So the other person that they had rolled up on, the other people rolled up on yesterday, because <laughs> at that day, you know, back then, I'm thinking of, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of the present now. So on that Tuesday, <laughs> they had rolled up on her because she was the breaker. And I was already off the floor. You can't say nothing to me. I'm on my break. You saying all this to her because she's essentially taking my spot. And so... So then she enters the chat, so to speak. So we talking. And, you know, because she done rolled up too. Because at this point, I'm trying to figure out how we going to run this show. Like, are we going to be are we gonna be on some stupidity today? Because I guess we could do that for six hours. Because I ain't got to do it but for six hours and walk away. Forget y'all. Let it burn up and blow up for all I care. They don't be understanding me. I be telling these people all the time. I tell these people for years. I would tell people for years. I don't care if it blow up at this point. If you want some foolishness. Okay, okay, I will join in on the reindeer games. Let's do that then. And so they saw how upset I was getting 
Because that pissed me off. I don't like for nobody to blame me for something that I'm not doing. I don't like for nobody to lie on me. So you already got two of the, the, of the three strikes as it is. The third strike is I already didn't want to be there. <laughs> so it's like, you're pissing me off. I'm tired. And I think my period, was my period on it? It don't even matter. Because I don't even allow my period to dictate how my attitude is going to be. So that's irrelevant. I was just really seriously trying to remember if my period was on yet. But anyway... So, yeah. So, the girl that came up, and she was like, yeah, it was crazy. Da, 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 da. I started telling him exactly what was happening because I wasn't there. I was on my break. So much stuff pops off when I'm on my break or whenever I'm not at work. I don't know what be going on, but the Lord be sparing me. <laughs> I'm not in the mix. I ain't in no drama. I don't care nothing about the foolishness. They ain't got nothing to do with me. So, anyway, the foolishness is popping off, and I'm not there. Hallelujah. So I'm just like, how are we going to proceed? And they were like, no, whatever they had going on yesterday, that is not how we're going to run this. It needs to be ran the way it's supposed to be. If you can't do something, we understand. I was like, oh, okay. And that's the one thing I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss that supervisor that's on that shift because he's not on the shift that I work on currently. There is a black male supervisor on the shift that I'm working on currently. As I've told y'all before, every time somebody gets promoted and they end up going up the ladder, I'm always happy for them. But a lot of these people end up acting crazy. And like I said before, I don't remember if I told y'all about the dude, but the other dude that acted like he lost his mind and rolled up on old girl and told her what he told her. He just got upgraded to a like fill-in position as a, a lead for whenever leads aren't there and all this other stuff. And he might actually get a permanent position because the guy who is the lead that came that day came back because he's, you know, currently about to leave. He might actually get his position. And I'm just like, that's crazy because that's the shift I want to be on, though. Like, if I were to get a permanent position, that's the shift I want to be on. Y'all, they were like, no, like, no. And it's funny because me, her, I don't remember if anybody else stayed, but it was me, her. And like the other people that kind of come right behind us as far as our order and how things go, because everything starts with us. And then like, it's just a, it just depends. I can't, like I say y'all all the time, I just can't tell y'all what we do, but yeah, everything starts with us and then everything goes to them. So they were standing behind like, cause they didn't know all the stuff that went down. Cause I just wanted to know, I wanted to know if we need to do some foolishness like we did yesterday that didn't make no sense. That's against all the rules. Are we doing that today? Just let me know. Let me know. Thank you in advance. Like, I'm just like, like you knew you was wrong before that even, before you parted your lips and said that people have been fired for less. But you telling us to run this campaign in this ignorant manner, I ain't got time for it. So, mm-mm. But yeah, they were like, no, da 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 So, after that happened, like, it just, it riled me up so bad, y'all, because they be sitting up there sending emails out and talking about, well, we going to take people up front. Who you mean? Once they said that to me, I was highly pissed off. And I just had to pray. I was listening to gospel songs the entirety of my shift. And I'm just like, I ain't got time for this because I do my job. I ain't gonna never try to make it seem like I'm perfect. If I need help, I'm gonna ask for it because this is a very, very important job. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It's a very important job. It might be easy as far as most of the stuff that we gotta do, but if I don't know what to do, I'm going to ask because I want it done right. So, y'all, that pissed me off so bad. I was like, I ain't got time. I ain't got time for this. I could not believe how many, y'all, I might be over under-exaggerating how many messages I sent my daddy. Like, that's how pissed off I was when I got home. I was so pissed off. On my Friday, like, I was so tired in my spirit for six hours. All I had to do was work a half, and I was tired. So, so this work week that just passed, because yesterday was my Friday, I ended up having to transition back over into working on that shift, right? Came in. Everybody was happy to see me from the other shift. I was not happy to see the people on the shift that I was working with outside of my two friends, pretty much. Old boy and, and, and my friend. When I say old boy, more than likely I'm talking about the guy who sound like it look like T-Pain, except he ain't got locks, and he does not have that man's money. Okay? And my friend. 
And so, <clears throat> the woman that I be going to get, like, these little magical drinks and things with sometimes. So, anyway, when I got there to the meeting, <laughs> I already was pissed off because I had to be on that shift. And so, they all looking at me, and I'm looking like, oh, here we go. So, despite everything going on with my lymphedema, I don't really plan on telling them anything. So far, so good with me getting to the meetings on time because I was struggling so bad as it got towards the end of my time being on that other shift. That's why I had to, like, it, that whole week I was late getting to that meeting. I was I was on time clocking in. It was just getting to that meeting. Lord, it was taking everything in me, y'all. Like, it was so bad. I don't know why it was that bad. But it was crazy. You would think that. Okay, so, you know, I'm always transparent with y'all. I'm very open with about most things, right? So, y'all know I'm dealing with lymphedema, right? So, for the last, like, month straight, I would be bringing fruit, alkaline, amazing fruit to work. So, I'm eating that and drinking spring water all day, all night. 12 hours straight, that's what I'm drinking and eating. Religiously, get home, eating watermelon like crazy, eating right, doing what I'm supposed to do. This was before I tried to see if I was still allergic to seafood or whatever, right? Doing good. And I was struggling the worst then. Now, for the last what, week, I've been on, on and off eating, and I have been eating that stuff. Y'all, I had just ate me another... um. Thing of, like shrimp fried rice, trying to figure out if I was gonna be allergic or whatever. So I've eaten like twice since then, eating bad. And so you know I'm not perfect, but I'm like, why was I struggling that bad? And I was, y'all, that that threw me all the way. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe. So I'm very thankful that I've been able to get to the meetings because this help. <sighs> the lead on this shift, for some reason, she's under the impression that we need to be there. And put our initials or sign next to our names that are printed off on our sheet that basically says the people who are there on the schedule. I'm like, why we got to sign the schedule? For what? We've clocked in. You know we're here because we clocked in. Like, it doesn't make sense. It's so stupid. And even the supervisor on the other shift told us that that's stupid. And the lead on the other shift don't do that. And it's like, why do you do this? It's so dumb. Um. But I'm just hoping that I can, can keep, I can keep that up with getting getting to that meeting on time because I don't feel like going through trying to explain without really explaining because I'm not really obligated to say anything. But I feel like with them, they gonna want an explanation, like a detailed explanation. I don't want to tell them nothing, so it is what it is. Okay, but anyway, so y'all, this week it went by okay. I'm the breaker. I was the breaker this week. So when I came back, so apparently the person whose spot I was taking, he was at the top and he went down to the bottom when I came back. <laughs> he went down to the bottom. So I'm at the bottom. So right now I am considered second from the bottom going back into the work week on Wednesday. Okay. So I'm just thankful I'm not going to be the breaker when I go back. I just hate being the breaker. Lord, the breaker be having to do the most. They made it easy for me, though. Um, Back there this week, I don't know why. I guess because the other person feels bored and they just was doing other stuff. And I have to do things to kind of preoccupy myself. But I don't mind staying busy because they will help the time go by for me. That's the one thing about it for me. Like, I... That's one thing about it. People were, like, kind of wondering how I was going to be able to deal with it. And I'm like, it's completely different from pulling a 12 back there and pulling a 12 doing the other job that I had to do, you know, that I'm supposed to do, you know? Um, I usually can keep myself preoccupied and I'm not killing myself. Like, it just, they be doing the most. The pay don't be adding. I'm just like, come on now. So anyway, came back, felt good. I'm trying to be positive about it. There's this guy that works back there with us. He be on one. And I feel like he goes and drops dimes on everybody. 
I feel like he be trying to watch you to figure out how long you go on the break and how long you go into the bathroom and all this other stuff. And it's like, sir, you worry about the wrong thing. So then, <laughs> they should have never told me that he still live at home with his parents. Which, ain't nothing necessarily wrong with it. But, for the context of what I'm about to tell y'all, I'm like, now sir, you should have shut your mouth on this. There's no reason for you to even say this. So, it's like he will, he'll brag about things that he's able to do. And we like, you ain't got no kids. You live at home with your parents. So, of course you can do this. So, he was talking about he was gonna, his car going to be paid off by next year. And I'm like, of course. You have no bills. Like, what are you talking about? You have no bills. I have bills. So, my car ain't going to be paid off by next year. You know, it is what it is. So, you know. Unless an unforeseen windfall happen, that would be nice. I mean, every, anything is possible. But, yeah, just depending on this job, no, it ain't going to get paid off. But I'm doing all right. It's going to be paid off within a reasonable amount of time. It's going to be paid off before it really got to be paid off like that. So I'm, you know, thankful that I'm pretty sure that that's how that's going to pan out. So, you know, it is what it is. But he just be doing the most. And he be looking at folks. I don't, I don't like when nobody's just stare at me. I don't care if you're interested in me or if you're doing it like he's doing it where he's trying to just be nosy and just be like, mm, just watching you while you work. Don't watch me while I work. If you're not my husband or somebody like that, I don't want you watching me while I work. Like, no. Oh, well, my friend wasn't there on Friday. Her mom was having um, surgery on her eye. And so all of her siblings were going to be present. The surgery was going to happen out of town. And it was just, it's just a lot of different things going on. Um, so she took off for that so that she could be present. I think that she was going to be one of the ones driving to the appointment because it wasn't going to happen, like I said, in the city. So everybody went where they were going to go. And I checked on her throughout the night and all that stuff. So the heifer who took her spot, who volunteered to take her spot, is the same heifer who essentially she has my position. I was supposed to have the full-time position that she has on the other shift. And so now I'm in a position where both of them people looking at me. Now they are not black. Both of them are not black. And I'm just like, why are you looking at my face? I'm doing my job. So, I I just, I don't like when people stare at me. So, it's like, I already don't, and, I, and then I don't really care for her. Because it's like, you have a job that I was supposed to have. Well, at least in my mind, I feel like that's what it's supposed to be. Even though, essentially, it's not. Like, I'm well aware of that, too. I'm just saying, like, if things went the way they were supposed to be, if... Excuse me, if my job believed in you just submitting your applications online and then having some kind of a automated core, you know, automatic response just being sent back to you saying that your application was sent in versus you putting it into a locking box um, that you can reach your hand down in and retrieve somebody else's and throw it away, which has happened before, then I believe that they wouldn't have never hired her to go back there. But, you know, that's just me. But she pisses me off because all oh, while she was training, she kept on leaving. So I was like, oh, I'm tired. Leaving all the time, leaving all the time, leaving all the time. Somebody told her about FMLA. And she ran and got it, talking about she needed the time for her son and all this other stuff. And so then she ended up getting it. The last possible moment, because she was about to get fired. Because she had no more time that she could miss from work. So she was just struggling, there, just trying to stay at work, y'all. So, yeah, that's the only thing saved her because everybody was pretty confident she was about to get fired and then I was about to get that position because I had already gotten a piece of a piece of a job. So I was like, yeah, I believe when I see it. And that's why I don't never say, oh, this is going to happen unless I know for a fact it's going to happen, y'all. So. So, yeah. But, yeah, she was there. She's staring at folks. I'm like, girl. The only time she talked to me is when she felt the need to tell me she was going to break. And I'm like, girl, okay. 
go to work. And I stayed in my friend's face all day. I told my friend, I said, well, since you ain't going to be there, I'm going to be in his face all day. So that leads me to the hilarious uh, part of this segment. <laughs> or I don't, know, I don't know how much I'll be able to tell y'all because it's so y'all going to be like, girl, what is wrong with you? Okay, so. I'm going to try to tell y'all as many details as I can. Because I feel like y'all going to read me down to the ground. But it, it's, it, I'm just being myself. Tell y'all what it is. So I told her I was going to be in his face all day. So as a part of my job as the breaker, I'm supposed to check and see if he need any help anyway. And he don't. And I was going to go back there anyway. And there were times, like I'm the type of person that when I'm the breaker and, and somebody's working in that particular part of the department, I go and I check. And they don't necessarily see me, but I'm checking. Like, there are certain things you're supposed to check and see if they need help with or whatever. And so that's what I did. So it just is what it is. And that particular day, I went and, you know, looked in his face on Friday. So we're talking. Y'all, tell me why this fool would have told me a joke. And he said it on TikTok. Now, let me know if y'all heard of it before. I'm not going to be able to say it the way he, he said it. But basically, he said that <clears throat> there were these black guys. They were somewhere. And then the Pope walked in. The Pope walked in, walked up to one of them. And he did like this. You know, the little thing that he does, right? And walked off. And so, since everybody else was so far away, they were like, oh, man. Rolled up on the old boy. was like, oh, man, that's cool. That's dope. You, got, you just got blessed by the Pope. He was like, what, what you talking about? He was like, that's dope. You got blessed by the Pope. And the person went on to say that he did not get blessed by the Pope. The Pope was reading him and was like, you need to tell them two N-words to pick up. Oh, so apparently the person was eating peanuts and throwing up the shells on the floor. So he was like, he told him, he's like, you and these two Negroes need to pick these peanuts up and get the F out of here or something like that or something. It was, it was a mess. Like the way he said it had me dying. I said, where did you get that from? Because he stayed having a joke. But anyway, he said it was on TikTok. That was crazy. So anyway. So we talk about music and all this stuff all the time. Yeah, he done ran me down. Because he was singing some song. He was like, you don't know what that is? I was like, no. So apparently it was like the lyrics to like Wankster. Y'all know 50 Cent song, right? Yeah, I was like, yeah, I don't. I ain't really particularly care for that song like that, but if it wasn't the actual hook, I ain't know nothing about that song like that. Oh. I proceeded to look at my phone, and I told him the 50 Cent songs that I do possess. So he proceeded to read me and tell me that I have all the trash songs that he came out with. <laughs> I was like, look, I am not a 50 Cent fan like that. But it's just a few songs of his that I have, and I listen to them, but I don't care about 50 Cent music like that. Like, it ain't, that is terrible. He was like, that whole rich, die Richard, what is it, get Richard, die trying, I was like, I don't know nothing about it. I just don't. I don't know. So, and I'm like, I don't doubt you. I don't. Like, my friend lives for 50 Cent, but I don't. So I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. They ain't got nothing to do with me. So we're just talking about music, talking about music. So then he had said something to me. And then I was trying to explain to him that um, I tried not to do too much because I got hurt. And he didn't know my hand got hurt. Child, he almost blew a gasket when I told him that my friend was, she got hurt the same day because she was back there where her finger got cut off. I said, yeah, I'll never forget that because that was the same day she got hurt. He was like, what? I was like, yeah. I had gotten hurt that day. It hadn't even been a good hour, hour and a half since the shift started. And then she got hurt a couple hours after me. So, yeah, that was crazy. Um, <laughs> ended up talking about that. Well, this is where it get even crazier. So... Y'all gonna read me, it's okay. It's all right. So, he had speculated that me and this other person had been having sex. Well, not necessarily speculated. He asked, he just straight out asked me. He was like, have y'all had sex before? And I was like, no. Like, I looked at him mortified like, what? Like, we had never had sex. So, I'm like, what are you talking about? He was like, well, I've known him. He used to date my cousin and all this other stuff. So, I told him. 
I was like, you remember when you asked me if me and this person had sex before? And he was like, yeah. He was like, so you lied, huh? I was like, no, I didn't lie. And so I told him, I said, in that moment, it was true. And a good amount of time passed by, like a year, year and a half, two years, it passed by. And a situation happened. Now, let me explain it to y'all, because y'all going to be like, girl, what didn't it? <laughs> okay, so I hadn't had sex in like a little bit over a year, right? And so I had been talking with this person. We were cool. I ain't never had no issues with them. They seemed like a nice person. And, you know, I trusted them. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt very comfortable with them, but I was not in the slightest attracted to them. But so, this is where it gets kind of sketchy. Okay. I learned, or at least I'd heard, that a woman's vagina can close up on her if she does not have sex for quite some time. I, TMI, before it even happens, because I want to give you a warning so that you can fast forward by 15 seconds, go ahead and fast forward it, am a naturally super tight person, okay? So if you combine that with the natural wetness that I have, you know, my ex didn't know that he was the problem as to why I had to start using lubrications and whatnot. Ain't got no problem with that. Ain't got no problem with it. <laughs> I'm just saying. So anyway, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh no. So, for some reason, it crossed my mind, and I was just like, oh, my gosh. So, it came up, and I was like, well, I trust him. I ain't got no issues with him. He finna put this condom on. If something gonna go down, I want him to do something so that I can make sure I stay open. So, I finally was able to have a day where I'd finally been able to be off. I was still working like crazy. I was not working back there in the new department yet. So, I finally had gotten the day off, and... He did what he did. He got what he got out the deal. And I'm like, good for you. You know, nothing happened for me. There was no pleasure for me in any of this. Like, I'm just being 100% honest. I ain't got no reason to lie. Truth is the truth. So anyway. I told him, and I'm trying to explain this to him. He was just like, y'all, I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know if... He kind of liked me or something. And that's why his reactions to stuff have been getting kind of, I don't know. Because y'all remember I told y'all he's getting divorced from his wife. Like, this ain't the this ain't the, the uh, other dude. This is the one that the wife was acting crazy towards him and was belittling him and all this. Like, the divorce papers are getting signed. He is, like living in another part of the house and he didn't put the for sale sign like somebody's about to buy the house at some point like the for sale sign in the house and all that stuff all that he moving stuff out the sold stuff like for real like he getting the divorce for real i didn't know this other person was a liar so yeah but anyway everybody at work had already speculated that he and i might have something going on or that he liked me because of his responses to me. Because he just always wanted to talk to me. I didn't know that man was like, he asked me about music. So we talking about music. Like, what is going on? I didn't know he was married at the time. Not that it even would matter because I wasn't looking for nothing. So I was just like, why are y'all so up in arms? So anyway, to me, his reactions, to, it just seemed like he just was like upset. And I was like, why is he acting like this? He does not believe that I didn't have feelings for him. He was like, no, nah, I can't I can't have sex with somebody that I don't have feelings for. I was like, well, I can. Like, if it's somebody that knew what they was doing and they butt ugly and I ain't got no attraction to them and I was comfortable with them like that, if that was something I wanted to do and I knew the sex was good, I can have sex with them and just get my rocks off. I don't know what's going on here. Most of these dudes be out here doing that all the time. They just say, oh, these are holes, and that's the end of it. So I'm just saying, I don't want to. In all honesty, that was pretty much really the, well, I told y'all about the pity sex that happened at one point in time for one of my friends. Y'all ain't got time for it. Like, 
But I was in a terrible place in my life. That was just pity sex for him. But with this situation, I didn't know what to call it. So I was like, I said some kind of business transaction. He was like, yeah, don't say that if there was no money. But I said, I don't know, really know how to, I don't know what I need to say. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> because it really was something that was for me. Because I really was scared that I was going to close up, y'all. I had, I hadn't gone that long without something. Like, and then I'm, I'm getting older on top of that. So in my mind, I'm like, I feel like my age is a factor. Usually when your age is a factor, it's like you're at a higher risk of something being, you know, whatever the negative situation is supposed to be the negative outcome. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm older. And I already got all that other stuff working against me. Oh, I'm definitely finna close up. In my mind, that's what I'm thinking. So he did what he did. And in my mind, I feel like it'll kind of keep me from closing up. I don't know. Have y'all ever heard of that before? Have y'all ever heard about that before? If you don't use it, it's going to close up on you. Have you ever heard of that before? I'm just, I'm being so serious. Like, I am so serious. Like, he was, it's like, he was just like, there's something wrong with you. So as the conversation went on, he gonna tell me to make a long story short. This man gonna tell me that I am crazy. I have a mental problem. Keep in mind, he was like, "See, everything making sense now because you don't go to the doctor." I was like, "How? How are you getting that from anything? You're telling me that I am crazy because of this. How? I, y'all, I was so. <laughs> he was like, "That's making sense now. You don't go to the doctor." I told him, I said the last time I went to the doctor was when I had cancer. I got my checkups and stuff all behind that, made sure it wasn't, you know, it didn't come back, all of that. That was the last time I went to cancer. I went to um to the doctor. I told him, I tried to tell him, we heal ourselves. I don't care about what you're talking about. Everybody and their mama stay in the hospital, stay in the doctor, live in the doctor's office, live in the hospital. Before all of this was even a thing, this is what people were doing. So in my mind, I'm fine. Everybody else got 5,000 medications that Big Pharma is laughing at them and pocketing money behind. While well, only thing I have my cabinet is full of are alkaline teas that work well. It's crazy because he still was trying to talk crazy to me and tell me I was crazy and all this other stuff. But I tried to tell him it's funny that you're saying all this, but I don't be sick. Don't all that stuff, all the stuff everybody else be experiencing, it don't be happening to me. And people still come to me and be like, well, what was you talking about when you got on social media and you said that you used this and it clear all this mucus out of you and what you said about this? And then people coming to me and borrowing or getting, like I'm giving them some of my tea and it's clearing them out and it's doing what it's supposed to do. So I'm right, and I'm actually clearing them up, and they ain't been cleared out in years. Now all of a sudden, all this mucus that left their body, they didn't did what I like. The, 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 the actual few people that do what I tell them to do, like if you actually take on that type of lifestyle, I'm like, don't even like. I know it might be hard for you. Just do it for a week or two to see how your body feel. I ain't never felt this good, and I don't know how long. I ain't felt this good, and I don't know how long. I can't believe this. My face cleared up. This happened. This happened. This happened. I got so much energy. Stamina through the roof from eating this. All of that. Natural stamina. Everything I done told them ended up being what it was. But you trying to tell me I need to go to the doctor. I need to take medicine. I need to do all this. But y'all got all these diseases. Whether they are fatal or not. And I ain't got nothing. That's all I'm saying. And, and like I always say. Even... With all that. I still don't tell y'all. Y'all dumb for going to the doctor. You a dummy. I don't come, I'm coming, I don't come to you and tell you. You a dummy for going to the doctor. Y'all like my friend. Man, almost every week she got some kind of doctor appointment she had. Every single week. All these co-pays you paying. I'm not finna be up in nobody's doctor's office several times a month. I'm not doing it. For what? For what? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The only insurance I have 
is um um what is it? I was gonna say I, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Optical. That's the only insurance I have. And the only reason for that was because I was gonna get dent dental so I can get my teeth fixed. But when I first got my insurance, COVID and all that stuff was going on. I still didn't trust that a year later, and I'm still kind of on the fence. Like, I still got stuff I got to get done. So maybe next year I will add that to the plan. Because only just because I want to get my teeth fixed. That's it. <laughs> I'm just like, no. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. But yeah, y'all. Um, Saturday. Went by so slow. I don't know what that was. And usually, I don't have moments like that when I work back there. Normally, I'd be like, I'm ready to go. But time ain't going by slow. I don't know what was going on that day. But time was going by super slow. But I got through it. And I got through my first week back on that, on that particular shift. And I'm just hoping that since I'm going to be working in a different capacity next week, ain't no foolishness going to come out. They ain't going to have to call me on the radio about nothing. I feel like I'm leaving some stuff out, and I don't know what it is. I wish I did know so I could tell y'all while I'm on here, while I got your attention. But anyway, in the meantime, in between, in between time, excuse me, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Um, I might come back later on and, oh, there it is, and talk to y'all about some of the stuff I've been watching because I cannot. <laughs> And right, right about now, after the last episode of Sisters that I saw, I really wish I would still do a recap reviews on that. Cause oh my gosh! But anyway, y'all, y'all have an amazing weekend. I am trying to enjoy mine. I'm catching up on my sleep. I'm about to, you know, talk to these people who want to talk to me. But all they gonna get is chatting out of me. Some of these people seem cool, you know. Some of them mad that I won't, you know. Be that woman, but it is what it is. Respect it. But anyway, y'all, y'all have an amazing one. I will see y'all later on. Take care and be safe out there. Bye.